Hello friends. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to add libraries of any new component which you currently don't have in your existing PSPIs. So to demonstrate this video, I have selected uh, ideal diode model. Uh, this model I don't have it in my PSPIs. So I will show you how to add this. So to add any new component, you require two files. One is your PSPICE model library and another one is OLB file. So the name of uh, PSPICE model library is DIDL. So this is the name by which you can search this component after adding it. So the first step towards adding any new library uh, is to go to your PSPICE software. Uh, just create one new project. Uh, so here you can so just go to place part here you are seeing uh, library section and square so once you move your cursor here you will see it will show add library just click over it and select your olb file open it So now you can see in part list, your OLB file has been added, DIDL. Once you click over it, it will show you the symbol of newly added component. So now you can use this component uh, in your circuit design. So for demonstration, I will use this component in single phase half bridge circuit. So to make single phase half bridge circuit, you require a sine wave source. You will also require a register. And now you can search your newly added component by its uh, name. It... Uh, don't forget to add ground in the circuit. So these are the required components needed to make single phase half bridge diode rectifier. Now you can connect all this component with wire. Now you can define the properties of this component. I am going to use 50 hertz sine wave. Uh, let's put uh, the resistor values around 10 ohm. So now your circuit is ready. Now to run this circuit, you have to go to P Spice, click on New Simulation Profile, uh, type the name of your new simulation profile. So now you see a new window. Uh, here you can define the properties of your simulation like uh, run time, maximum step size. So as this uh, shows has 20 millisecond time period. So we can put 100 millisecond here. The maximum step size I am choosing 1 micro. Now to run this simulation, you can click on run button. Uh, please notice that uh, it, sh it is showing error that model D ideal used by DD1 is undefined. Uh, it is showing this error because you haven't added your P spice model library yet. Now go to the simulation. 
open your simulation profile go to configuration files uh, now in category go to library here you can see dot uh, lib file so just browse to your piece price model library here is my piece price model library just select and open it uh, after selecting it uh, uh, click add as global and add to design okay i think add as global is fine uh, now click over apply So now both the files have been added to your PSPICE software, your OLB file and PSPICE model library. Now go to the run button and click. Uh, now see there is no error and your simulation has successfully run. Uh, to see the waveform, uh, you can choose voltage probes. So I'm now go going to show the sine wave waveform and the voltage across the resistor. Here you can see uh, the green one, which is your sine wave 50 Hertz source. And uh, it is a half bridge rectifier. So basically it is rectifying your input sine wave. You can see for positive uh, cycle, uh, your output is there and for negative cycle the voltage across the resistor is zero so please like my facebook page triple e helper i will post this video on this page if you want you can share with your friends and also subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos and uh, if you have any doubt or query you can either mail me or you can write in comment section of this video uh, so thanks for watching this video